I woke up at 5.30 in the morning to go consent a patient for cardiac surgery research that I'm doing. I got back to the lab around 6, uh, worked until 1 p.m. In the middle, I had a small group session, a virtual case-based learning with 10 of my classmates that I didn't get to film. Uh, but um, I'm able to do all of this because uh, over, the Saturday, over Saturday and Sunday, I watched all the lectures for this week so that I don't have to go to lectures. It also allows me to um, shadow during that time, during the lecture time. And it also frees up my week to run errands and all the different things that I have to do over the week. So I got back from student union building, got a flu shot done, took care of my insurance, got a passport photo, all that boring stuff. Um, and I just realized that my video is gonna be really boring because it's just a bunch of, bunch of shots of me studying, working in the lab and studying again. They decided to become business guys. So in 1968, these two engineers broke away and they created a thing called... Oh my gosh. My classmates are the best. They summarized all of the readings into seven pages of document that I just have to read before our um, team-based learning session tomorrow. Amazing. Thanks, Mark. 6 a.m. I'm trying to get ready. exam session woke up early this morning I'm feeling tired I'm just gonna watch some Netflix for about an hour and then get studying again my girlfriend came over and she's cooking me dessert and dinner wow so amazing she also went grocery shopping and got all this wow what did I do to deserve this Tasha <laughs> I was so spoiled, so spoiled. She got wine. Oh, so I took a, an hour long nap because I was just like, so exhausted. Um, but I'm shadowing all day tomorrow. So in order to prepare for that, I'm going to the Mazikowski Heart Institute um, to just look at the patient's charts just so that I can be ready for tomorrow. 
so you can basically figure out the patient's history, uh, what the diagnosis is, um, why they're doing the surgery, then I would come home, look at indications, um, study just the disease, in, that disease in general, um, look at the procedures for that particular surgery and all, all of that. All right, so I just came back from the OR. I know that the patients are same day admit, so they're not in the hospital. They're coming on the day of surgery, which is tomorrow. So the morning patient will arrive around 5, 5.30. So I'll, be, I'll try to be there around then and to look at the patient's charts to see what's going on. Uh, the first patient is doing an AVR slash bental um, slash hemi arch. So I'll have to look into that, read up on it, read up on the aortic valve disease manifestations it's surgical indications uh, the next patient is doing an AVR mini sternotomy I'm not 100% sure about the difference between full sternotomy and mini sternotomy like what's the procedural difference so I'll have to look into that as well um, so those are the kind of the things that I'll be studying it is also 550 my girlfriend is at home cooking dinner for me I'm so spoiled uh, but I have some lab stuff to finish off here while I'm doing that lab stuff I'll be reading ahead for the uh, shadowing tomorrow. So these are the books that I'm reading. This is uh, borrowed from my resident. Has all the nice pictures, uh, looking at the aortic valve surgery. Um, and then this is more for like early level uh, medical students and residents. And this also has got nice pictures, explanations of guidelines, how the surgery is done. So I'll be looking at that. Look at that. Wow, high five. High five. <laughs> Thanks, babe. I would describe it as open heart surgery with a closed chest. Uh, so it's still the same open heart operations that we would always do. We're just able to do them now without opening the chest. It decreases their level of disability. Um, in order to open the chest, uh, you have to saw through their breast bone, and that bone break takes a little bit of time to heal. Whereas there are no broken bones here. So in terms of recovery, there is no limitation to your function when you're done. Usually you're in hospital for about a week and then recovering at home for about eight weeks afterwards. Here you're in hospital for about 72 hours and you can go home and do whatever you want. Their average hospital length of stay is around 72 to 96 hours um, and they've all done well. Right now it would be patients with valvular heart issues or patients with adult patients with holes in their heart. Right, it is 5 p.m. I left around 6.15, so I've been gone for 11 hours. I've been in the OR for two cases, each case around five hours. So in the OR, standing, learning. Um, it's tiring, but I loved every minute of it. First case, we did an AVR with a hemi-arch and then ascending aorta replacement. And then the second case, we did an AVR. Um, I'm definitely gonna go into the surgical route as opposed to medicine routes because I find it so stimulating and so fun. Um, I have a quiz tomorrow at 2 p.m. that I haven't really studied for, uh, so I'm going to dedicate this entire evening and uh, tonight to study for that, and then tomorrow morning as well to study for that test so that I can get a good mark on that. Don't think that you're going to, after you get into medicine, you're going to just cruise and you know just, just half-ass everything and then just barely get by. You have to put in a lot of work. Um, I do it because the more knowledge that I have, the more... Um, the more I can apply this, uh, it gives me incredible confidence, especially knowing that the, the way I use my knowledge will actually help people in the future. That is incredibly satisfying and fulfilling. Um, so it's tiring right now, but it's go time. You just, you just have to push through.
just got back from the lab. It is 5.30 right now. I left the house around 7.50, so it was a long day. I am going out with my friends at 6.30, but I have assignments that I have to finish. Uh, in medicine, they make you write some reflections on some of the sessions that you do. Uh, so I have to finish that, and then we'll go. my friends and I will go out for a nice drink and dinner. And then I'll have the weekend. <laughs> A day in the life of the next one. <laughs> but, but, yeah. at the end of my week here it's Friday night I just got back home from a night out with my friends um, don't use my particular week at this time point as a pure representation of a second year medical students life because I'm one of over 160 students in my class and over thousand students thousand medical students across Canada it, medicine is definitely not just smooth sailing just fun and games but there's a lot of studying and hard work involved uh, but at, you, once, once you reach this stage it's not just studying abstract things it's studying what will be practical and studying things that are of your interest so that's something that you can look forward to thanks for watching guys